Hey everyone, welcome back to Upside Down Data. I want to talk quickly about the USDD stablecoin depegging. In my opinion, this is one of the least surprising things happening in crypto right now. And the reason I say that is I've actually made a video um, several weeks ago talking about this exact possibility. I'll link that in the description below. I go over how the USDD uh, protocol is supposed to work and why it was very susceptible to this exact kind of thing happening. Just in brief, kind of catch us up. Basically, the USDD system works exactly like the UST and Luna system. You're able to, at any time, burn $1 worth of TRX to mint a dollar's worth of USDD. And at any time, you're able to burn one USDD for $1 worth of TRX. And what that ends up doing is it ends up making the parent chain, you know, in this case, TRX, susceptible to a death spiral. Basically what happens is that once the asset loses its peg, like what happened is happening right now, what we're seeing with USDD right now, that people start to panic out of the market. They wanna get rid of their USDD. A lot of people go in, start exchanging it for a dollar's worth of TRX and then dumping TRX on the market. So that does two things. What it'll do first, it'll just start to lead the, the price of TRX lower as people are dumping a bunch out of the market. And then also people who are just holding TRX for other reasons are probably dumping it because of the kind of uh, fear that's entering into the particular market. And then as the price of TRX falls, people now can burn one UD, one um, USDDs, uh, one USDD for more TRX than they would have gotten back up here, right? You know, the idea is that if TRX you know, let's say hypothetically TRX was trading for a dollar, burning one USDD would give you uh, one TRX. But then suddenly if, if TRX is trading for only 10 cents, now burning one USDD would give you 10 TRX. You're basically inflating the supply of TRX. So this is double whammy. There's sell pressure because people are trying to get out. And so they're selling any TRX that they're minting. And there's also this inflation that's happening where you're introducing a boatload new TRX into the system that didn't exist before and so we're starting to see the early stages of that here you can see that the price of trx has collapsed in the last two days you know uh, as bad as far as 32 percent currently just above 30 percent in two days so now of course the question is you know is this it right is this going to mean the end of tron you know is is usdd going to ruin the network just like how ust ruined the Terra network, you know, is it just going to take it to zero, basically? There's going to be this death spiral that goes out of control, infinitely supply, uh, inflating supply of TRX, and then eventually have USDD trading for, you know, under a cent like UST um, got down to. Well, it's possible, right? But there are a couple of things that I'm looking at that, you know, it's uh, it's maybe more feasible that um, the, the proponents or the, the backers of this, you know, Justin Sun and then the the DAO that's supposed to be responsible for USDD, it's possible they might be able to save this. And the reason I say that is that the situation here is quite a bit different from Luna UST in a couple of ways. So one of the important ways is that the market cap of USDD is very small relative to what UST was, right? It's only here at, sitting here right now at about 700,000. And one of the things that we can do is we can just compare that market cap with the market cap of Tron. So if I just pull up the Tron uh, page here on CoinMarketCap, we can see that the Tron market cap is all the way up at 5 billion. And this was not really the, the situation with uh, Luna UST. With Luna UST, they were actually, Luna and UST were actually about roughly even market caps when that death spiral picked up. There was basically so much UST outstanding that there's no way there's gonna be enough liquidity in Luna to be able to absorb the sell pressure that was gonna come off of it. Here, you know, the ratio is is still, you know, probably higher than you'd like it to be, but you know, it's still less than a fifth of the market cap of TRX is what USDD is standing for here. And so there might just be more liquidity that exists in TRX that can absorb more of as a percentage here, it's more of the selling pressure that could come off of USDD completely imploding. So that's one thing, but of course that doesn't necessarily mean anything, is because you know market cap is a little bit of a um misleading indicator sometimes because this is just means you know if you multiply the total circulating supply by how much it's currently trading for it equals this, this number that doesn't mean necessarily that people can liquidate for anywhere near this amount right if you sold off all of trx's supply right now there's no guarantee you get anywhere near 5 billion for it It'd actually probably be quite a bit less 
um, especially given the distressed state of the network right now. You know, people aren't going to want to bid on tier X. They're not going to want to buy tier X at these higher levels. That, low, that level could just keep going down and down as everything deteriorates, and that means the liquidity will be driving down as well. Demand is unlikely to just flood back in. So it's un unlikely that there's necessarily 5 billion of liquidity that actually exists in tier X is basically what I'm trying to say. But the other thing that I'm looking at that, you know, might help them prop up USDD, at least in the short term, is the fact that they're at least saying that they're going to be deploying a lot of capital to try to defend the peg. Now, obviously, you know, with the UST situation, there's a lot of, you know, um, speculation, you know, different claims out there that the supposed deployment of capital to back up the UST peg was smoke and mirrors. You know, I'm not, take all that with a grain of salt. I have no idea what exactly happened there. But one of the things we know about crypto, <clears throat> you can't always take people at their words. So we'll have to see if they ever act, if they actually do this. But basically, they've pledged to deploy, you know, $2 billion to try to prop up the USDD um, uh, value. And they have <clears throat> different assets kind of within their portfolio to do this. They have a bunch of TRX they can use to try to do this, which is probably the lowest quality collateral that they would have. Because again, if the price of TRX is collapsing, the price of that collateral is going to be collapsing as well. But they also have, I think it was in the ballpark of $140 million worth of um, Tether and about $500 million worth of USDC. They're also you know, saying they're going to deploy to try to defend the peg, which combined just with those stable coins is getting up close to, <coughs> excuse me, the market cap of USDD. So is this going to be a full-on meltdown? I think it's a little bit too early to know, right? I think everyone's expecting it to be. If you look at the funding rates on um, different perpetual uh, derivative exchanges for people shorting, they're very high right now. People are paying a massive premium to short TRX right now because everyone expects it to go to zero. They think it's an easy buck to be made. But I'm personally seeing this as being a slightly different situation from Terra uh, and or UST and Luna, just because USDD wasn't able to grow as large as UST was to the point where it might not be quite big enough to completely collapse the network. But what I'm I'm certainly though not saying that USDD is a buy right now. I'm certainly not saying that anyone should be jumping in this or longing TRX right now or doing anything like that. I mean, obviously, not financial advice. You can do whatever you want, but don't construe what I'm saying as to say that this is suddenly this is low risk and that oh, they've got this, everything's going to be fine. Absolutely not. I have no idea what's going to happen here. This is a ticking time bomb. It always has been ever since they introduced it into their network, and no one really knows how this is going to play out. Because again, USDD could just be the catalyst of a broader bank run on TRX. You know, if if this really kind of scares TRX holders enough. We could just see a massive capitulation of the downside that even if USDD is able to survive this, TRX might get collapsed to way lower valuations than it is right now. You know, one of the interesting things about this is that, you know, TRX had been trading and it's still, you know, trading above the summer lows of 21, which is actually not a whole lot of crypto assets are doing that, or, or a lot of them have broken down below those levels. But what that means is that if the floor falls out, there could be a long way to go to the downside. And so that's the other thing about this is that we're in a horrible bear market right now. We're in incredibly bearish times. People are very skittish. They're very afraid. They're certainly not willing to be taking a special risks. And so anyone, for a lot of people who are holding TRX right now, you know, there's probably a lot of concern and there's probably a lot of reason to believe or that a lot of people might be looking to exit, especially if the situation deteriorates more here. So even if they ultimately reclaim this, I think there's more reason to be concerned as well that TRX could really kind of move down from here. And the other reason I say that too is that a lot of this upward movement we've been seeing in the TRX price more recently has been because of USDD. That's It's been people kind of FOMOing in, a lot of TRX getting burned to mint USDD, which contracts the supply, and then more demand comes in because they want to also join in to get the yields on USDD, et cetera. You know, it's the same thing that happened to Luna. You know, you see this growth in the network from this model, but the problem is you're opening yourself up to this. And you know we could just be in the early stages of that. So whether or not USDD is the thing that ultimately crashes it or if it's just panic, I think there could be plenty of room to the downside remaining here for TRX, even if it's able to come out of this intact, unlike Luna did. So really the, what I wanted to say with this um, with this video was that you know this is not surprising, at least to me, 
in any way, just knowing the way that USDD works. You know, we saw this before. It was, in my opinion, one of the stupidest things that any chain could have done after seeing Luna UST collapse to just continue going forward with this madness. And frankly, I think they're just darn lucky. If they survive this, they're just lucky that this thing didn't get bigger before it collapsed, right? They're lucky that Bitcoin colla uh, collapsed earlier instead of waiting a few months before dropping down to its current levels, right? Before that big capitulation happened. Because if that had happened and, and USDD had continued to grow and it got into a market cap similar to TRX's, then I would think no question, everything's going to zero. You know, TRX going to zero, USDD going, uh, going to zero, et cetera. But because it happened earlier than that, I think it's possible they might be able to salvage it, but certainly by no means guaranteed. And my base case is that the pain has not been put into TRX yet. That I think even if it survives this, even if there's some short-term pumps, you know, it's lost the thing that was driving growth. You know, are, are people going to want to just dump back into USDD after this scare? You know, who knows? Maybe crypto is crypto. People do kind of, you know, what seems like crazy things all the time, kind of dumping into these projects that are obviously high risk. But it's not my base case, you know, and my base case is not that everything will just recover and everything will be fine and perfect and, you know, TRX will just continue rising, rising, rising. I personally think this is very concerning for any, for anyone who is invested or cares about the TRX network. Again, none of this is financial advice. You should make your own opinions about this and where you think it's going. But in my opinion, this is just bad news that was unnecessary, completely self-inflicted, uh, by basically the Tron, well, Justin's son, you know, the kind of the Tron overlord or here. And frankly, in my opinion, just very stupid. And so, you know, I'm sorry to anyone who's losing money on this whole thing. You know, obviously I'm not rooting for this to happen. I'm not feeling schadenfreude. You know, I wasn't rooting for USDD to implode, but I certainly saw this on the horizon and this is not unexpected at all. All right, if you like the content, remember to subscribe to the channel, give the video a like and follow us on Twitter. But a lot of updates, better indicators and more over there.